Modern Warfare Zombies has been revealed to the world and I think it's fair to say that the reaction has been mixed maybe and maybe that's putting it a little bit politely. Now before I go on I should say a massive thanks to Westy who's given me the b-roll for this. They got to go to Treyarch and try out the game and they were given some footage and he's let me use this for this video so massive thanks to Westy. But what I want to talk about in this video is why I'm hyped for this mode, why I'm excited about it. Now I haven't played it, I've spoken to the people that have, I've listened to Kevin Drew's presentation, he gave us one at COD Next, and then he did another one on the live stream. I've kind of absorbed as much information as I possibly can, and I've come away with the conclusion that this is definitely worth giving a shot to. So what is MWZ, Modern Warfare Zombies? It's basically a mix of Outbreak and DMZ in terms of, yes, it's zombies on a big map like Outbreak was. It's definitely not round-based zombies at all, but they've learned a lot of lessons from DMZ and they've kind of put them into this game to try and make it something that's more replayable, I think. In Outbreak, after you completed a sort of round of it, I guess, like you either died or maybe you exfilled, although I'm not really sure why you would bother exfilling in that, you didn't really have any reason to go back in again because it was just going to be pretty much the same thing. Unless you were just trying to grind out, you know, weapon camos or something like that, but then you would just stay in it for absolutely hours if you wanted to. There wasn't a reason to replay it that much. And I think DMZ managed to start finding some ways to make itself replayable. And a big part of that was the missions. And in Modern Warfare Zombies, you've got these missions. So these are things that you can equip before you go in. Bizarrely, you can only equip one at a time. But when you complete that mission, you'll then automatically unlock the next one in the game. You don't need to do that annoying thing, you know, in DMZ where you put on three missions, you complete all of them, especially if you're at the beginning of a faction. And then you have to exfil to go back in and then do some more missions. It just feels really arbitrary. Like you're leaving the battlefield, the war zone, just to go to a menu and tick a few more boxes before you go back in. In MWZ and Modern Warfare Zombies, you don't need to do that. You can just keep on going, trying to complete missions until it either gets too hard for you or you get to the final exfil, you run out of time and then you've got kind of a climax to it. And that idea of running out of time, that idea of having a sort of point where it might get too difficult for you, I think that's key to whether this is a good game or not. So in Zombies in general, and particularly over the last few years of Zombies, so thinking about like Black Ops Cold War in particular, it being too easy, I think, was one of the big problems. And this might sound weird because I've always been someone that's a massive advocate for accessibility in Call of Duty. And I don't mean making it so disabled people can play, although that is super important and lots of games have made great strides in that. And it'd be nice if Call of Duty did a bit more of that. But I more mean just making it so normal people who play the game can have the best time of it without needing to go onto YouTube and read guides and stuff. You know, I've never liked the stuff in Call of Duty that the game doesn't teach you how to do, that widens the skill gap just for people who can be bothered to either practice a particular thing or watch YouTube guides. So I'm thinking things like the gunsmith, you know, in a new season of Call of Duty, if you're not following like J God or True Game Data or someone like that, you're going to be at a disadvantage because normal people don't have the time to test all of the different attachments on guns. And so they're not going to make the best choices because they just don't have the information because the game only gives you very vague information and with the new game with modern warfare 3 multiplayer if you don't know how to slide cancel which the game won't teach you how to do then you're at a disadvantage and i always think that kind of sucks it's like an artificial skill gap of just the people who know something that's not obvious at all are better than the people who aren't and there's a kind of gatekeeping that goes along with that and you hear it in the cod community all the time you know you get the people who know what they're doing they know how to slide cancel they know how to bunny hop and drop shot and quick scope and all of that kind of stuff and people who don't know to do how to do that are like noobs or casuals but they're not they're just normal people they are the normal people we're the weirdos that read everything on twitter and watch youtube videos and streams and all of that sort of thing we're the people who are way more into call of duty than normal people are 
The normal people are the vast majority, and I think the game should always be designed for them. And I think in zombies, obviously it's really good if they can just hop into a game and play. One of the things that I loved about Black Ops Cold War is that I think a normal group of friends who decided to give it a go could probably get through all of the story in Black Ops Cold War, especially if you don't include Outbreak. If you just do the main maps, they could probably complete all of those Easter eggs without ever needing to look up a guide and see how someone else did it. Because once you get to the point where you're following a guide to try and complete it then it's kind of like you might as well just watch the easter egg on youtube like kind of what's the point you're taking the fun part out of it and you're making it so a very small group of people you know the people who get world first etc they're the ones who have the fun and then everyone else just has to follow a guide and even as someone that makes some of those guides I find that kind of tedious. But Black Ops Cold War did it in a really good way, you know, it wasn't like Revelations where you had to try and work out which floating bone to shoot. It was clearly signposted, it was clearly marked, everyone could do it, everyone could get to the end of the story. I thought that was a really good thing. But my problem with those Zombies games was that at the same time as that being a good thing that everyone could see the story, also there was no challenge there was no way to make it more difficult for yourself there was no good way or sensible way to try and make the game challenging without you having to invest a ton of time into it and get into like insanely high rounds or something like that or trying to speed run easter eggs which again you know incredibly difficult that's a very high barrier to entry what I've always thought Call of Duty needed is for everyone to be able to see the story, everyone to be able to just give it a go and get to the end of the story, but then for there also to be some challenges that are super difficult, some things that are really insanely tough that not many people will ever do. And I think DMZ kind of cracked that, that like most people could probably get through almost all of the missions in dmz at least enough missions to get to the end of it now it's a shame that dmz didn't have like a proper story it didn't have an interesting story and lore and stuff like that but at least normal people given enough time could work their way through all of them but there was also some kind of secret challenges like you know heated madness or the serpentine camo or that gun screen in koshai complex all of those things that were a bit more involved, a bit more difficult for the people who are super into it for them to chase down. And I think that's going to cross over into Modern Warfare Zombies, that we're going to have these story missions, we're going to like ease people into them, you're going to be able to do missions at your own pace. If you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, you can do things like stockpiling perks, you can go into a mission, buy loads of perks but don't use them, pack a bunch your guns, exfil, and then next time you go in, you'll be able to be like super overpowered and make the mission easier for yourself or you'll be able to challenge yourself by you know trying to speed run as many missions as possible not caring about trying to stockpile good stuff or anything like that just going in and doing what you can and i'm fairly confident there'll be a bunch of hidden challenges and stuff like that they have said there's not going to be like a big easter egg at launch but there is going to be stuff later so i assume the missions will be kind of the story the accessible bit that everyone can do and then there's going to be more difficult content kind of coming later and the creators that i've spoken to even like the og zombies creators people like codename pizza they've said that it was challenging like if you want to go straight into that kind of high intensity zone it would be super difficult it'd be really tough to survive and that's like music to my ears the idea that if you want a bit more of a challenge you can just drop straight into a difficult area and you don't have to waste time like going up through the rounds going up through the levels instead you can just drop straight into something that is really difficult i always like that about moon you know that area 51 beginning where it was like immediately difficult from the start i always thought that was awesome i hate those things like outbreak where you could easily spend hours and hours before it gets even remotely difficult and once you kind of work out places to go and the right weapons to use and stuff like that it just ends up never getting difficult which i don't think is very fun you want there to be some level of challenge um but you also don't want to gatekeep people away from the story and i'm hoping that modern warfare zombies is going to be able to achieve both of those things from what we've been told about the mode, you're going to go in, you're going to complete these missions and then eventually you'll get to a story mission and that will actually take you to a different instance, a different location. We don't know where they are, I wouldn't be surprised if they were multiplayer maps, kind of like what Vanguard did. 
but you know maybe they'll surprise us maybe there'll be old zombies maps or something like that but you're gonna go there just with your group like separate from the main mode and then you're gonna complete some more involved story missions maybe with npcs running around and stuff like that which i think sounds really cool it sounds a bit more like what people want from round based zombies and then once you get to the end of that you're gonna have a cinematic now if they can keep that going if we get a bunch of those so i think someone said there might be three of those at launch and then as we go on like maybe every season every half season if we get a new one of those i think that would be a pretty awesome cadence so there's always something to push on and do everyone who takes part can sort of see that part of the story and enjoy that stuff and then hopefully there'll be some of these hidden challenges like really difficult things like grinding out the zombies camos and things like that for people who want to spend more time in the mode they did say in their presentation about it that you know replayability was a big focus that was something that they're caring about so i really hope they've got it right there's also just a bunch of stuff about this mode that looks really cool like the aesthetics of it are nice i really like this version of the urzikstan map i think the lighting and the color palette in the zombies version of it is much cooler and the way the colors change is you get into the more high intensity zones so like the safer zones are kind of bluey purpley and then as you get into the high intensity zones it's like yellow and red i think that's very cool it makes the map look absolutely awesome there's a ton of cool looking stuff like the giant monsters and the flaming motorbikes the new wonder weapon the scorcher looks really good um the big hordes of zombies all of that stuff you know i'm a big fan of like atmosphere and immersion in games i think all of that stuff looks really really fun so what i'm saying in short is that i'm definitely going to give this a go i'm going to give this a chance i think there's lots of people that are kicking off because it's not round based but i think the alternative to this would just be no zombies um and i'm hoping this is better than no zombies i'd kind of argue that vanguard wasn't because it almost gave zombies a bad name if this is a new mode that gets people into zombies and then treyarch brings out round based maps next year and then there's a much bigger zombies community because this was a nice accessible introduction point for maybe people who played dmz before or people who were kind of curious about zombies but didn't want to get into like super challenging complex easter eggs in round based maps that's a win for everyone like more people playing zombies is definitely a good thing for everyone so let me know what you thought of the modern warfare zombies reveal in the comments below i'm definitely going to be making a bunch of content on it in you know a month because it's not very long until this comes out so make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on leave a like on this if you did like this dislike if you didn't if you hate my opinions leave a dislike i don't mind and i'll see you for the next one goodbye